Are you looking to establish a powerful online presence for your brand? Look no further than Live the Dream Media. Our team of experts possess the capabilities and skills necessary to make it happen. From creating compelling content to analyzing data and making strategic decisions, we've got it covered. Don't let a lack of social media know-how hold you back. Visit ltdmedia.net for more information. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Local Miranda Podcast. I'm David Samarano. I'll be hosting this episode today. We have the creators of the Miranda Made Market here with us. Uh, it's Is it pretty new? Is it a pretty yes. new thing? How long ago did you start it? We started about, what would you say? Our grand opening was in October of 2022. Mm. So we are very new. We've only had a couple of events. But we actually started it in May of 2022. Yes. Okay. So it took some time to organize and to start building um, our ideas and what we <laughs> wanted to, it to look like. Mm-hmm. But yes. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's let's let the audience know who you are. So we'll start with you. Well, I'm Felisa Hancock. I am owner of Miranda Made Market, along with my daughter Kylie Hill. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I've been living here in the Miranda area for 31 years. Um, We raised our family here in Marana, in the Marana Unified School District. Um, We love the town of Marana, the community in Marana, the people of Marana, and that's who we are. We we are Marana. And so um, that's a little bit about me. Um, I have five children, um, six grandchildren, and one one additional on the way. So (laughs) love that. (laughs) That's the best part. Um, been married to my husband for 31 years and he's my biggest cheerleader and supporter. So I couldn't ask for a better partner in crime. Yeah, that's great. Good, great size family. Yeah. Yeah. Great yep. family. Yeah. And you? Um, I'm Kylie Hell. I'm 26. I'm the second daughter in the family. Um, I have also been married to my wonderful husband. We've been married for six years. I actually graduated at Mountain View High School Um, back in 2015. I went to college for a year in St. George, Utah Mm -hmm. at Dixie State. Um, And then I came home for the summer, met my husband, and we started dating that week. And (laughs) the rest is history. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Utah. So were you in a pretty cold part of Utah? No, I was in the warm part. The warm part? Southern Utah. All right. It was warm. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I recently went to uh, Provo, and uh, I have some family that was in Kanab. You remember that? Time? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Kanab. We went out there and visited. It's pretty. Oh. It's like Sedona, but like oh, more it's countryish. So yeah, it's really really cool. That area is just my favorite. And while I was in college, I worked with a wedding planner who mm-hmm. did destination weddings. Okay. So um, we went to Zion National Park a lot, and there were weddings there, and. I loved it. I loved yeah. that area because it is just so beautiful. Zion is unreal. I, I did go. We went through there when we were visiting. It is just it unreal. Is. I, I mean, and pictures don't do justice. Oh, like no. I tried with cameras. I tried with my phone. Yeah. It just was unreal. Mm-hmm. Unreal. So you said something about uh, wedding planning. Yes. So you have yes. some experience in event planning. Yes. And the wedding planner I worked with, she was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of the businesses that I had came in contact, um, as far as photographers, uh, florists, um, they were outstanding. The weddings were beautiful. And I, um, I had a lot of influence from them, Mm -hmm. um, in regards to what we're doing now because the things they created and it was just amazing. So, so how did we get to the Miranda made market? (laughs) What has transpired before to lead up to what you're doing? You know, I think we had always enjoyed together um, looking for those unique, uh, whether unique things, whether it was for the home or Mm -hmm. clothing and finding those artists or those small businesses who provided those products that we liked. Mm -hmm. So as growing up, as our family would take a vacation, I would like, 
hey, there's a market. Can we stop by there? Yeah. And we would go explore and see what the artisans had at their local markets, whether it was in Fredericksburg, Texas, or Nashville, Tennessee, or San Francisco. We would stop by these markets and just explore. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't something that happened immediately. Yeah. It's been a lifelong kind of yeah. pursuit for both of us because we would always try to find those unique things, mm-hmm. you know, and... Um, yeah. So as she got married and as we took vacations together, we would always, again, look for those markets. Or we'd be like, hey, there's a market in Logan, Utah. Do you want to go for the weekend? Yeah. Just for that. <laughs> and um, we really enjoyed that. And um, we saw how how talented people were and how um, that at these markets, that's how they – displayed their products Mm -hmm. and that may be the only opportunity they had to share their gifts or their talents or what they wanted to sell yeah and we were in gilbert early last year at a market and shopping and having Mm -hmm. fun and getting stuff for easter and we looked at each other and we said marana needs this we need to create this in marana and help the small businesses Mm -hmm. in marana and from that point on, we're like, let's move forward. Let's do this. <laughs> and it did. It just moved quickly. From from the time we decided that Miranda needs this, we need to do something mm-hmm. about it, to our grand opening, we were on the phone. We were. It was hours of just reaching out, networking, going to markets, meeting new people mm-hmm. who are talented. And like we saw their work. We knew yeah. you need to come to Marana and we need to share this with our community yeah. because we love our community. And by doing that, we've came in contact with members of our community who we had no idea that they had this talent and mm-hmm. they were just trying to find a space to share it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, and so through just this past year, it's, been so exciting and each day there's something new and we are just so excited to be here and to share it with everyone Mm -hmm. and yeah yeah it really does need it it's it's Mm -hmm. great and uh we all met from the local marana community i mean supporting small businesses is what local marana does you know we we really want to highlight the the talent is you said that's exactly. here there exactly. there's there's great products here there's great people here there's great services here and marana is it's growing mm-hmm. right so like let's build this culture mm-hmm. of taking care of the local business community yes. and make it something that continues even as the growth of marana continues because the growth of marana is going to continue but we can instill this idea of that we're going to support exactly. local businesses so how many event events have you done so far with mm-hmm. marana main market so this, so we have an upcoming event, um, but we've had two events mm-hmm. in October and December, and then we have an event next weekend. Okay, so right on. So our third, <laughs> Felisa, what were you doing before all this? Well, professionally. So I'm not sure how far back you want me to go. What wasn't she doing? <laughs> let's just say. Hey, that's that's <laughs> jack of all trades, huh? Well, kind of, actually. Um, My husband and I own a landscaping company, and we have since 2001. So Mm -hmm. that's what we have been doing. Um, Before that, I was a dental assistant. Mm -hmm. Um, Before that, we were just trying to make ends meet. We were married young, raising a small family, so poor, and just working our tails off to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, um, we ran this landscaping company for since 2001, very successful. Um, and then in 2015, we moved out to Moran, like old Moran. Old Moran, yeah. <laughs> and we bought a little piece of land, which we call our farm. Mm-hmm. And I started raising Nigerian dwarf goats. Okay. And so we have a goat farm. And I, having that spirit of, entrepreneurship in me Mm -hmm. I just got that from my dad and um, I started making goat milk soap okay and that became a successful small business and um, yeah that's what I was doing up until then or up until this and I still am doing that Um, but that's that's what we do we have a small farm and we're hoping to grow our 
little goat dairy and possibly having a creamery in the future. So we it's have wonderful. big things planned, always yeah. planning for future things. But So you come from an environment of the entrepreneurial spirit. Then. Oh, totally, yes. Yeah, so this yeah. is no fluke of, or just a no. random idea. This is There's a lot of intention behind it and experience. Yeah, my oh. dad um, was a general contractor, mm-hmm. um, and he taught us to work and not to be afraid of work. So I feel like any sometimes – I'm like, I can do that. Yeah. You know, he planted that in my head. And so sometimes I'm like, I can do that. I can mm-hmm. build a house. I can build, you know, and and I'm not afraid to try. So I feel like that's a a great asset that yeah. I have. Yeah. That, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. is. I mean, you got a lot of experience <laughs> mm-hmm. in the work ethic. and everything. Work is something that's guaranteed. Definitely. Right? It's like taxes. Like it's, it's guaranteed. You're going to have to do work in some shape or form. Yeah. And then when you can do it where you are in control of what's happening, yeah. it's it's uh, it's fun. Yeah. Challenging. Yep. It's challenging for sure. Yep. So let's talk about challenges. Are there any particular challenges or struggles you've come across building this? Mm-hmm. Well, I definitely think there's struggles with starting any mm-hmm. business. You know, there's struggles of finance, financial struggles. There's um, struggles like connecting with companies or mm-hmm. businesses, but building relationships, mm-hmm. you know, but I really feel like um, we are blessed in some ways that we really don't struggle. Knock on wood. We, I got you <laughs> <laughs> because of the way I was raised, yeah. you know, um, when we start something, we always start with a relationship, and that's who we are. Mm-hmm. We always try to build a relationship before we move on. Um, my husband is a great example of this. Um, he should have been born 200 years ago where a handshake <laughs> was a deal. He's a cowboy through and through. But, um, you know, he even in our, our landscaping company, he... <laughs> Sometimes does it to a fault, but he builds such a relationship and rapport with his clients that we're a family. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I think that's a great way to start what we are doing. Yeah. Because at our first event, we actually um, asked all of our vendors to come over the night before for a dinner. And we fed them just so that we could get to know them and to let them know who we were and that we are a family as we all grow together in this community. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I mean, although there are struggles, um, I feel like because of the way I was raised, we take those struggles and we take them head on. Head on. (laughs) Yeah, we, um, I think just being raised with the worth ethic that we were raised in, we... We're not afraid of a challenge. Mm-hmm. And when we have a dream and we have these goals and we have these things we want to accomplish, nothing's going to stop us from doing that. Yeah. So, But taking people along with us um, is what we try to do. Mm-hmm. You know, build, build a community around us and bring those people with us that uplift and encourage. And that's, that's what we try to do. And we mm-hmm. want those people on our team. Yeah. And so when we meet new people, we want them to know that they are part of our family and they are part of helping us grow as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Yeah. That's a great way, to, great way to approach it. I mean, because uh, if you let everything in, then the problems kind of, they compound. Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> having, uh, that's really cool. I've never heard of uh, the dinner thing where you took, <laughs> took it or had everybody over for dinner. That's definitely different. So if I, you know, I've, uh, I've talked to a couple of people that do kind of vendor markets and stuff mm-hmm. in the area and I, that's never come up before. Yeah, so we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah. think it's crazy. I think it's, I think it's genius you because know, you get a real insight on who these people are. Yeah. And yeah. we want people to, I mean, as I said, um, that's who we are. You mm-hmm. know, we love to serve those around us. And my dad was a great example of that. He served everyone in our community growing up Mm -hmm. and i think when we're out serving and um it just makes it easier to build those relationships and get to know what the needs are of our vendors Mm -hmm. in our circumstance you know if i if they just show up and set up their their booth and they're there for the day um we're not doing our job we're not helping them grow their business we're we're not helping them 
or know their needs. So by having this dinner, we had that t- extra time before our market mm-hmm. to learn a little bit about them and we can help them grow. Yeah. And I think each of our events, before going into them, when we're planning our events, we plan each of them for the community in a way that is fun Mm -hmm. for everyone who participates Um, because we want them to get to know us yeah, and we want to create a space that's fun for them too. Mm -hmm. So just like our upcoming event, um, Living on Love, that actually came from, we call him our number one employee, Yeah, my dad. (laughs) He had thought, we should have a barn dance here. We need to have, let's bring our Western roots and have an event Mm -hmm. that is fun for everyone. Yeah. Um, And so we were like, okay, we're going to do a barn dance. We're going to do an auction. We're going to do these things that we love Mm -hmm. to do in hopes that others will love it too. huh? And each event that we do, we have a theme. We have We're trying to reach certain people to have them feel welcome to our events. We also have at each event a way to give back to the community. So our last event, we had a food drive for the food bank. This event, we are having an auction for the Future Farmers of America at the MUS through MUSD. Okay, cool. Through Marana High School. So all the proceeds will go straight back to the FFA program at Mm -hmm. Marana High School. So, yeah. It's it incredible. may be small, but I, I feel like every little bit helps. So. It does. Yeah, it really does. Now, talking about uh, the events you guys do, there's one coming up in April that has our attention, <laughs> and that is at the Miranda Pumpkin Patch, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. So let's talk about that that event coming up. When is it? Who's involved? Where is it at? Yes, springtime at the Pumpkin Patch, huh? We are so excited. So we have collaborated with the Marana Pumpkin Patch to offer a, a Easter experience. Okay. <laughs> yes. And um, we are super excited about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where do we even start? <laughs> this is what we get excited about. It's going to be a two day. So there's two Saturdays, April 1st and April 8th. Okay. Um, the gates will open at na- 9 a.m. And it will go to 5 p.m. Throughout the day, we have scheduled Easter egg hunts per age group. So no little kids will be trampled or anything, (laughs) those nightmare things. But we have the Easter bunny coming. Yes, there will be tons of eggs. And then we're going to be featuring um, vendors from all over Arizona. Mm -hmm. Um, All over Arizona? Yes. Cool. So you're bringing in some from... Oh, yes. Oh, there's, okay. We I have like vendors who are traveling from four hours away, and we just... Wow. Yeah. There's, it's amazing. Wow. That's really cool. So what else do we have going on? Um, so we'll have food trucks. We'll have our vendors. Mm-hmm. We'll have um, the pumpkin patch. We'll have their jumping pillows, their train rides, their giant slide. They'll yeah. have their... Um, their... Pedal, their their pedal, pedal boats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they'll still they'll be operating, and then we'll have our shopping experience as well. And okay. there will be some um, unique su- surprises that we will share coming up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so we're super excited. Big giveaways. Um, we're working with some of our businesses with giveaways and. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. That is cool. And then the admission will be $15 at the gate. That was my next question. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're, we're just going to our <laughs> Got this down. You know, to the listeners, uh, they inf- they inform- the guests here today informed me that they had never been on any public speaking platform to this point <laughs> <laughs> like this. So uh, I, I would just like to say that they're doing a great job. So uh, oh, thank yeah, you. Good, good on the prep. I You haven't we, looked at your notes too much. I know we you brought notes, our so. notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but you haven't had to use them <laughs> yeah. too much, right? <laughs> no. Thanks for the prompts. <laughs> yeah. I told you I got you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry. I interrupted you. So the $15 admission and that's yes. for the whole, the whole day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, children two and under are free. What am I missing? There, it's just going to be an amazing event. I don't think there's anything else like it in Arizona. 
Mm-hmm. You know, the, we all know the pumpkin patch is just incredible. The, their facility yeah. is. Their facility just, is amazing. Mm-hmm. And John Post has just done amazing things there. Yeah. I mean, nobody can compete with the pumpkin patch. <laughs> no. So, I mean. It feels like its own little world. It does. It's, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, t- it has like a really a Midwest feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's um, just, it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The, the facilities are immaculate. Um, the events are so fun. Mm-hmm. We... Mm-hmm. Every year, for years, we've taken the grandbabies. Well, our whole family has gone, but now it's turned into the grandbabies, you know. Mm -hmm. We go for the October and December events, Mm -hmm. and it's just so much fun. And now the Miranda Main Market's going to be there. we're teaming up. That is so cool. We were We're so so excited excited (laughs) to collaborate with them. Yeah, meeting with them, we were like... I can't believe this is happening. We're just so excited. We were like kids in a candy shop yeah. for real. <laughs> yeah. It was. We were so excited. It's so great. So, with what you're doing uh, with the Miranda Made Market, it, it's not easy, and it takes a lot of <laughs> a lot of work. And like you said, networking and time and everything. What advice do you have to listeners who may be pursuing doing something like this and or trying to work with you? Oh, where do I start? This is a good one. This one, I might even pull my notes out because <laughs> I'm not. It's time. I want. <laughs> do you want to go first? You can go ahead. <laughs> so, let me think. I think I'm going to get my notes because I did have a good point and I want to make sure that I share it with our listeners today. Yeah. Um, I think... As far as advice, um, one, actually all three of them that I thought of is, first off, if you have a good idea, what is stopping you? If you have been thinking that you should start something, what is stopping you? Because if it's something that you really want, there isn't anything that can stand in your way to getting it. So go after it. Surround yourself with people who are uplifting and who can help you get there. You'd be surprised if the possibilities of the possibilities that can come knocking at your door when you decide to do something in confidence and move forward. Preach. Because <laughs> I yeah. think, and I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're both small business owners, and I think of all the times I struggled. And when I was able to get out of that, it was because I found those who helped me mm-hmm. and lifted me. Yeah. And so I think that's very important. It is. And I was, we had talked about an experience I had in 2021 on our way over here where I was really sick um, and I had emergency surgery and I was just shut down and I was like, I'm done. I'm selling my goats. I just can't do this. And um, I had received an email from the American Dairy Goat Association saying there was a convention here in Tucson but I was still not out of bed for my surgery. And I thought I should go to that. And my husband's like, I can drive you because he is our number one supporter. Yeah. He's like, I will drive you, you know. So he drove me to the convention. And as I sat there um, and just being surrounded by the community of goat people, <laughs> I know that sounds strange, but they were so wonderful and encouraging. They're like, don't give up. Keep do- chasing your dreams. Keep doing what you're doing. And um, I met some incredible friends. Um, I call them my friends. They, just dear people who to this day are checking in. Hey, how, how's your goat business doing? How, how yeah. are your goats? Is it almost kidding season? You know, things like that. And and that just that changed my whole mindset. Um, just... And I was able to, okay, I'm not giving up. I'm moving forward. I'm doing this. And and I, I was able to witness her in that moment mm-hmm. and see her completely do a 180. And I was like, you go, girl. Wow. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, you're like, oh, my gosh, my mom's doing it. But She's she like, really is. Yeah. And so it was exciting to see that. And so through her experience, I was able to be like, yes, mm-hmm. surround yourself with good people. Yeah. Who lift you? Yeah, you need it. Mm-hmm. You, you can't to to have the idea that you can go alone. Mm-hmm. It's can't. not going to work out well. You just can't. Exactly. And it's okay to be like you said to serve others, mm-hmm. 
when they need you, right? And acknowledge that that person needs me. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. the community, right? Definitely. But we really are blessed to live in the community that we live in because there are so many people who are service minded mm-hmm. and yeah. who are there and willing to step in and support small businesses. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, so I had two other points. Yeah. Um, let's hear them. My next one would be um, move forward. There are always going to be barriers that stop you in your tracks from reaching your dreams. Keep moving forward. Keep working. Keep growing. Do not quit. And then my third piece of advice, which is very important to both of us, um, we try to emulate this advice in our own business Mm -hmm. and in our family. Um, It is be kind. Two little words, but they have such a powerful force behind them that needs to be emphasized. Here at Miranda Made, we are creating a space for people to feel welcomed. After all, this is our home that we are welcoming so many people to. That being said, the environment in our home is expected to be kind. Um, There is a lot of negative that goes on in this world. There's a lot of people who lack the support of others. There are a lot of people who do not feel confident in themselves. There are people who hold anger, animosity, and jealousy that take it out on others. We are striving to not be those people and to not do business with those that do not lift up. Yeah. Uplift. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Our great-grandfather lived a life filled with love and compassion to all. At family gatherings, he used to sing these words that we hold dearly to our hearts. Do what you do, do well. Do what you do, do well. Give your love and all of your heart and do what you do, do well. We hope that those who come in contact with us know that we are striving to do just that. So that's that's our why. Aren't I lucky to have the best (laughs) business partner in the world? Yeah, to see both of you have incredible (laughs) heads on your shoulders. Well, I I feel pretty blessed. We are far from perfect. (laughs) (laughs) We're not saying... But we are striving to be yeah. who we want to be. Yeah. You know, um, so the, the place you're in right now, this podcast is uh, powered by Live the Dream Media, which yeah. supports a very identical culture. Uh, we do these consultations and we'll meet with people and we will decide if we're going to work with them or not. Mm-hmm. Right. Because, of course, you know, there's always the opportunity to make money, but are we making money and are we serving in the capacity we want to or are we serving the people that we feel would be serving to somebody else? And uh, it doesn't always work out, and that's a harsh reality. But it's it has to be done, right? To to further on our mission, and uh, it's just it's a great way to approach it, and it's been a successful model for us at this time. And you know, and yeah. does do people get mad? Yeah, but there's the people that you didn't want in the building in the first place, and it's taken yes. it's taken us, you know, the the president and co founder Clint Peak that's in there. It's taken us a long time to to figure that out, and thankfully, I have you know, I have mentors and people that help me like. Clint and Tammy, his wife, and they've made incredible differences and huge differences in my life and making the right decisions and stuff like that. So uh, just hearing your your model on how you approach uh, the vendors and other businesses to be with you, it's just, uh, it really aligns with what we're doing. And it's really cool because we're both here in Marana. So it's, I it's love just that. really cool. Me too. So what's a common myth about being a <laughs> business owner? <laughs> You know, I'm going to tell you right now, I hope I don't like rain on your parade, but the top one, you know, that comes up. So I'm going to eliminate this one from from being chosen is that everything happens overnight, (laughs) that it's like an instant success. Right. Because that's what we see on social media. Like that's what we see on TV or I don't know if a lot of people watch TV, but um, (laughs) that's what we see. So I'm covering that one and saying we know that. Right. That that's not that's not true. No, that's not true. We all just talked about experiences in our lives to get to where we're at now. What do yep. you got? What's a common myth? Um, I think a common myth is never to, um, like working with family members. You should never go into business with your family members. You know, I is that a myth? I don't even know if that's a myth. Maybe that's just what people say. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I feel like working with Kylie has been so wonderful and. Um, and just better than I could have expected. Mm-hmm. 
But I think at the same time, we each have our roles, you know, so we set that up in advance. This is who you are. This is your responsibilities. These are my responsibilities. And so since we set that down in the right at first, mm -hmm. I think it's easy to work together as yeah. a family, Very. as family members. Yeah. Um, so communication is yeah. key. It definitely, is. definitely. It's really because people can get upset about stuff if they're not communicating and they bottle it up and then it turns into an oh, explosion yeah. and, you know. Yeah, there's no secrets between us though. <laughs> I, th I think I told you earlier that people say we look alike, we sound alike, we think alike. My husband's always like, "Oh, bless Ethan's heart. Who is her <laughs> husband? <laughs> Who's her husband?" Um, but, but really, it has been. I don't want to say easy. Because it hasn't been easy. It's been a lot of work. But the yeah. easy part is the communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we do, we can read each other's minds, really. We think alike. We. Yeah. So that has been really a blessing for our business. Yeah, definitely. Um, everything we do is unified. Mm -hmm. Everything that goes through Miranda Made is between both of mm -hmm. us. And we both have to agree on it. You know? Yeah. Even though it may be my idea and I think this is the best idea ever. I'll say, what do you think? And then Even though like, she knows that I was already thinking it too, but <laughs> one of us needs to say it. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that's how most of our mm -hmm. conversations like, I we already know, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that's a good one. So the whole myth of that you can't do business with family, right? right? You're an example of success doing it. And so just, I think the people heard some advice on how to accomplish that, just hearing <laughs> that. Do you I, got anything you want to add to that? I think, um, I think a myth is like one thing is, oh, you're going to make lots of money starting <laughs> oh. out. Like people think, oh, you guys are making so much money because and it's like, well, you make money, but that's not for a while. You know, if you're turning around and putting it back into your business, mm -hmm. then if we're being honest, we're not making any money, huh? <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we might sometimes we're like, are we ever going to? Yeah. But, you know, that's part of being a business owner, mm. too, in, in certain times. Yeah. So. Well, you know, it takes time to, to serve people and to, for it to compound. And right. I don't know the exact quote, and Clint might get a little frustrated with me, but I think it's a Zig Ziglar thing uh, where it is uh, the more people you can serve, the more valuable you become. I yeah. agree, too. I agree with that. So, sorry, Clint. I know you're on. No, you're directing this. If I mess that up, <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So we're coming to the end here. You know, I think we've been going at this for about half an hour or so. Which, wow. Can you believe that? No, it goes I quick. No. Everybody that comes on here, like, man, it felt like ten minutes, and it's like, well, no, we did about half an hour. So I've been watching wow. the clock there, and I, I'm pretty sure we're close to that. So I'd like to give you the chance to explain how to connect with both of you in the Miranda Made Market. What's the best route to do it? And if they're interested in being a vendor, what to do? Okay, so if you're interested in being a vendor, we do have a website where you can go online and apply, um, miranamademarket.com. Mm -hmm. So go on there and you can apply. You can select the dates you want to participate in because there's several events that you can apply for. And we're always looking for new vendors, so don't be afraid to reach out to us. Mm -hmm. um, no matter how small your business may be, yeah. Just contact us and we'll, we'll definitely be happy to work with you. We also, through our events, we meet a lot of people who come up to us. Mm -hmm. And I want to apologize for anyone who's came up to me and I haven't. It's We get pretty busy doing yeah. our events. Mm -hmm. But when you guys come up to us and you introduce yourselves to us, I don't forget that. Um, I have one experience where this this wonderful couple and... I don't know if I'll mention names, but this wonderful couple, they came up to me and visited with me and told me about their business. And I ended up choking on something. I couldn't I couldn't talk to them. <laughs> oh no. And I felt so horrible and and so I was like, I'll come find you later when I regroup. Well, I never found them at that event. And this bothered me for weeks. I kept telling her, I was like, this couple, like they came to me because mm -hmm. they want to be a part of our event. And I choked. <laughs> I legitimately <laughs> she choked. Oh. And um, so this was weeks later. And this um, couple 
came up to her. So I was at the... Um, at the grocery store, right? No, at the feedlot. The feedlot. We were, were having dinner over at the, the feedlot. Mm-hmm. It's under new ownership now. What's it called now? The stockyard. Oh, the stockyard, yeah. And Love that place. <laughs> yeah, we go there every Wednesday to eat. And um, so we were walking in, and this gentleman was standing there. And I said, hey. And he was selling his product. He had mm. a truck bed full of stuff. And I was like, hey, I'm interested in that. And so I, I got his information. I came home. And I said, Kylie, reach out to them and send them the link. And she called me immediately. Mom, I've been <laughs> looking for them. I was trying to search their information. Yeah. I knew their name. And I was like, I have got to find them. And I couldn't. Mm-hmm. And she came to me with that. And I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we were able to get in, re- in yeah. contact with them. and Yeah, they're designing a really cool um, boulder for our entryway for our, our property. So yeah. I'm excited. They're very talented. I think I know who you're talking about. Is it like designed by Ortiz or something? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. I ran into them at a, a small little vendor market. Uh, a yeah. couple months ago, I think, or maybe yeah. a month ago. Yeah, I knew exactly yeah. you are talking about. Isn't I, he wonderful? Yeah. He is so kind. He's yeah. such a nice guy. So, yeah, yeah he's he actually designed the boulder, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. He was really busy, but I was, like, really looking at what mm-hmm. they had, and yeah. um, it was really cool. So now, yeah. I mean, yeah. So, I pay attention. So we pay attention. You're yeah. watching. Good, good. <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, I think... Like, reach out to us, DM us, apply online, Mm -hmm. um, come find us at our markets, because we do. We love meeting new people. We love seeing the skills and talents that are out there. So Cool. Well, it's been a pleasure having you both here today. Um, We look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the community and stopping by and checking out the the events ourselves. And, you know, uh, localmarana.com is a good place to go. We have posted that event that you have in april uh in the events tab of that website so Perfect. if you're looking to s- for some information on that you can go there and then go to their website also if you're looking to advertise on localmarina.com and or on our podcast just go ahead and reach out to us uh, we have a form on our website that you could fill out we thank you so much for listening and supporting local here in local Marana, and we look forward to more episodes thank you 